Yo what's up guys welcome back to another tutorial in this video I'm going to show you how I make my text effects for my edits so let's get into the tutorial okay the first effect I want to show you is deep yellow and drop shadow on effects and presets panel search for deep yellow it's a plugin if you don't have it don't worry you can download it from my telegram channel add it to your layer then put radius to 300 and exposure to 0.3 then search for drop shadow, add it to your layer, put opacity to 100, distance to 8, and softness to 12. But because I have my own preset for my text style, I add it on my layer, but you can choose whatever you want. Okay, the first effect I will show you is slow fade out and fade out is something like this. Looks like you shouldn't have come back. Looks like you shouldn't have come back. Okay, on FX and Presets panel, search for slow fade down, then add it to your text layer. Then I search for increase tracking, add it to your layer, press U to see the keyframes, go to the last keyframes. You can set this value to whatever you like, but usually I put it to 4 or 6. Then search for fade out to slow, add it to your text layer, press U to see the keyframes. And that's it, this is the first effect. Okay, the next effect I will show you is fade upwards, is something like this. You go halfway across the country with someone. You go halfway across the country with someone. Okay, this effect is also very similar to the previous text effect, but instead of slow fade down, you have to search for fade up by words. Add it to your layer. Okay, then just sync your keyframes with what your character is saying. And like before, search for increase tracking. Again, search for fade out, slow. Add it to your layer. And just adjust it. And that's it. Okay, the next effect I want to show you is texture plasma. It's something like this. He found the firefly. He found the firefly. He found the firefly. Okay, for this effect, having Sapphire and BCC plugin is necessary, but you can download it from my Telegram channel. First of all, delete every effects on your layer. Then on effects and presets panel, search for S underline texture plasma. Add it to your layer, then duplicate your text layer. Okay, now just delete the texture plasma effect from the top layer. Then go to the character panel and sweep fill to a stroke and set a stroke to 2. And from here you can choose what color you want. Then set phase speed to 0.5. Now select your two text layer, then right click, pre-composite, choose this option and press OK. And then you can add your text effect. And you're done. Okay, the next effect I want to show you is bevel alpha is something like this. Still don't get it, huh, sis? Still don't get it, huh, sis? Okay, first of all, add your text effect. Then go to the effects and presets panel and search for bevel and alpha. Add it to your layer. Okay, now select this effect and make sure to put it above others effects. And as you can see, we have a effect on text, but you can also adjust it on whatever you like. But usually I put it to four. And also you can combine this effect with the previous text effect. Okay, the next effect I will show you is something like this. Catch. It would kill her. The only catch. It would kill her. The only catch. It would kill her. On effects panel, search for S underline texture cells. Add it to your layer. Put this effect above the others effects. And from these two options, you can choose what color you want. Then search for BCC cross glitch. Add it to your layer. Okay, now from this option, choose this one and put person down to around 12 to 15. And for glitch intensity, put around 12. And as you can see, we have this nice glitch effect. Okay, the next effect I will show you is deep yellow just with a tint, is something like this. Jesus Christ, yo. What do you do? Jesus Christ, yo. What do you do? Add deep yellow. Then drop shadow, 
put opacity to 100, distance to 8, and softness to 12. Then for radius, put 300, and set exposure to 0.2. Then click on this arrow option next to the tint, enable it, and from here you can choose what color you want. And that's it. Okay, the next effect I want to show you is something like this. Still don't get it, huh, sis? Still don't get it, huh, sis? Still don't get it, huh, sis? For this effect, you have to install Animation Composer. It's a free plugin, so you can download it from your Chrome. And after you download it, go to the window panel. And from here, you can see Animation Composer. Select it. Then go to presets panel and choose transition text layer. Then from here you can see lots of effects we have here but you can choose whatever you want. For example I want to apply these effects on my text so make sure to select your text layer then double click on it. And as you can see the effects applies on our text. It's a very nice effect and also you can add your effects and that's it. Okay, thanks guys for watching, I hope this tutorial helped you, and if you have any question, you can ask me in the comments, and also guys, pay attention, you can combine these effects together and make a good effect for your text layer. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next tutorial.